Right then guys, down to the dirty subject of light bulb batteries. So, um, I've got a light bulb, well, I'm into flying remote control helicopters and the sorts, and I've got a light bulb battery, or a number of light bulb batteries. Um, I haven't used them for a while, because busy doing other things. And uh, when I finally got around to using them, what I did discover was one of my LiPo batteries was uh, a bit puffy. Um, I'm letting myself open here for an amaranth, so crack on, whatever whatever floats your boat and, and the sort. But anyway, in my uh, small amount of knowledge of LiPo batteries, I decided to pierce a little hole in uh, this LiPo battery to let some of the, the gases out which had accumulated, because I didn't exactly know what they were or how dangerous they are, which is considerable. Um, so I pierced a little hole in there. Anyway, deflated the battery, charged it back up again, and um, and it was all right. As far as I was aware, it was all right anyway. Uh, there was no leakage, seepage, or funny smells, or smoke, or anything of the sort that would signify that the thing was going to go chin over on me. But um, I wasn't too comfortable with the whole situation anyway, because how did the gas get in there in the first place is a sealed unit it, you know it you know things like that sort of ring bells didn't they so um i did a bit of research on the batteries and i discovered that um piercing them is probably one of the worst things you could do they are fairly volatile and um they're sealed for a reason so i immediately got rid of that battery um, in the safest way i could get rid of it and um you know it's, it's out my way now but another thing is watching these videos and these like teaching practices on YouTube and, and um, going on forums I've discovered that you know how lethal these bloody batteries are which brings me on to another point these uh, you know like vapors and electronic cigarettes or whatever you want to bloody call them but they got lithium um, batteries in them and um, what I have discovered is watching a few videos and looking at a few newsreels is now uh, these batteries are exploding in people's pockets uh, you know or worse and things have happened like you know so my personal opinion is if you drop this or if you damage your battery in any way you need to get rid of it get rid of the battery it doesn't matter how much it costs you get rid of that battery because any damage to these batteries you know might end up in an explosion so that was basically my point of this whole video with the, with you know, not just light bulb batteries but these things as well if you damage these batteries you need to get rid of them don't take the chance don't try faffing with it don't try messing with it just get rid of it but get rid of it ain't worth it there's a guy who had third degree burns up his legs because one of these went went off in his pocket i mean that could have been his face that could have been you know it could have gone in his eyes or i don't know whatever but it could have like seriously messed him up like it did mess him up, but not as bad as it could have messed him up. So, points to note. LiPo batteries, dangerous. Damaged LiPo batteries, more dangerous. Damaged LiPo batteries in your pocket, detrimental to your health. Cheers, take it easy.